we're back on some rest. Looks like everything's good. We didn't get raided, so. We're about to uh, see what we can get into here. Shoot it out. Honestly, suspected that would happen, but I've built uh, I built bunkers like this, and just kind of had a wood door up front, and hopped off for the night, and uh, and higher pop servers, and and my base wasn't messed with, like the front door wasn't even blown out or nothing, and it's a wood door like this. I mean, whoever shot out the door probably. Didn't know it was in a bunker base. So, like, uh, when they got in here, it's probably a little, little bit of learning for them. Learned them up a little bit. I could have made a uh, metal door like this, but you know. Right. It was kind of. It gets late quick. What the fuck is that, bro? That's a huge problem, ain't it? Getting set up on my shit, huh? Hopefully, it's not too many people. Build something like that, dude. That takes a shitload of fucking wood. For no reason. Like, what the fuck, dude? You know what I mean? Cause it's weird. Like that would be scary if that was like a big ass team or something. You know what I mean? Hey, uh... Definitely looking like a funky looking base.
Maybe I shouldn't worry about it too much right now. Come on, that's not some healthy shit, bro. What the hell? They're not eating food just because they're not, like, you know, hungry, out of stamina and shit. They eat a bunch of pickles. Can't stack the pickles as high, and they only be a little bit of food. I was about trying to tell my homie like, but I could let that shit sit, and he was eating on pumpkins, bro. And what he didn't even get for a stack of pumpkins. Nine hours on this TC. So basically, I need to do some farming. Yes, sir. What's this got to you? What I need for the Ortiz. Probably something I don't have, huh? Mm -mm. It's all good. I like how I just kind of gave up on changing the door skins so I don't get noticed as well. That's the only problem is I want to metal out this base. Like, kind of first, bro. Like, Door and do that core for my bunker, but I don't have anything in it. You know what I mean? Like, I have shit in here. Like, I need to get wood, apparently. So I'll put this Jackie back, huh? Even if I didn't like upgrade everything, the metal would last a couple days. No, I do like to have a little bit of extra wood and TC just for like see if anybody twigged up on it or come back on. Also for like 
certain things like uh, if I have a uh, bunker base, but I know this ain't a bunker base, but if I have a twig set up or something like that, I like to keep it. Yes, sir. I'll put some stone in here. Well, yeah, I don't need it all, right? Or wait, yeah, I do. Yeah, sure, just keep up right now. I don't say I should have a chest there, but holy shit, this is not helping. See what I mean? That's the only thing I don't like about furnace spaces, dude. I almost need like a straight up ladder right here. I can't even get up there, bro. Like, Jesus. I want to fucking give up. No, come on, man. Don't make me jump all the way around just to get that. Fuck it, dude. I'm not gonna sit here and waste time. I know what the deal is. Hey, uh. T is what a T is, brother. T is what a T is. I can sit here and complain about shit, or I could do something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's the lowest I can have it. Because I don't want it even poking up, but, you know, shit happens. I'm gonna hate it. That'll surely upgrade it. Oh, that's what I was having fun. Upgraded two sides. Necessarily need to upgrade the top right now, but I will. All right, and then we'll just put the show away. And it didn't help that I kind of built on uneven ground, which is going to be the case. A um, little bit into white here. I uh, have to take whatever I can get, you know what I mean? So. Kinda got me paranoid that I got neighbors now. Even though it's a big, weird looking base. They definitely had to put some time into that. I don't even have wood tees. What am I, what am I thinking, bro? It's all good. I just need a, a little bit of wood for my furnace base. Keep cranking up that shit.
little chicken. Jesus Christ. So I definitely don't like that. You know what I mean? Definitely don't like that. Which I could have just found, but it's so inconvenient. I need to get a locker so I can just do that easily. Get some kids together. <coughs> Honestly, I need some armor doors for my main base. Oh, yeah. Oh, how did it? Why did it not jump? It'd be doing, it'd be doing that sometimes, too. Like, I try to jump. That's why I spam the jump when I do jump. The bunker base is good and everything is just there's nothing in there, so there's no sense in focusing on defending it right now, I guess. I need to. I also need to get this furnace base rolling, so it's about to be night. Yeah. And I'm about to go. Hey, mess it up. It's always night when I need to do something really. It's alright. I'm gonna take one more scope at the neighbors. I guess I could put two stacks of wood in there. Just really took that shit up, huh? The only thing that sucks is I'm, I'm using so many ropes, like ladders and shit like that. <clears throat> Shit out. What am I talking about? I'm gonna bring some of that metal up. Huh? So I got some stone. That's gonna be for spare at Pita. I 
do got a chainsaw. What the hell? I feel like I should have more animal fat than that. So I want to incorporate that, uh, Small ore refinery. I don't think I even have crude like that. Uh, a little bit. I ate diesel. I think by train yard there's a crude station. Just like a uh, water treatment. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. So I want to go over there and check that out. Uh, maybe I should try to focus on building a. Building on to my thing so I can have the uh, small organ printer. I almost want to still do it, all right? Oh, uh, that's the only problem is it's uneven right there. If I could put it right there. Oh, uh, that sucks. No, for real, that sucks. I should have tested that first, huh? about it right now, motherfucker. I was gonna try to build around it. Like a door. That is the weirdest fucking addition. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the fluffy stream. Alright, so this is the weirdest 
expansion that I've ever done. For real. So we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it at that, bro. All right, so all this needs to be half wall, cause honestly need. I can't even see I'm on the side. Fuck you, shit. I need, I need to get the metal from here a little bit, and then like, you know what I'm saying? This is it. No, I passed out, bro. It's uh, it's getting late quick. <clears throat> but I just hopped on right now, so. Uh, I gotta get my plan together, you know what I'm saying? Or what exactly I wanna be doing. I wanted to, uh, so what you want and what you do, uh, end up doing can <clears throat> a lot of times change. What I mean by that is, you know, you hop on, I'm gonna do this and that and this and that. Hop on, walk, walk outside and you got neighbors now, you know what I mean? So now it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We're not doing that around here. So that's where, that's where I'm at right now. So there's a whole process that you have to go through to even get what you need to raid. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Plus it turned night, so I can't do, I can't do shit at night. I don't have, uh, I don't even have weapon flashlight BP, which I need to actually go get. Sorry, I was getting some coffee. You see, I'm I'm definitely getting off my raid, huh? <laughs> see, that's the thing. I'll uh, I'll just hop on in my gameplay, dude. I'll always get either online or offline. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm tired of hiding, bro. I'm tired of hiding. I want to destroy. But that's where the only benefit that I have is uh, that no, you can't have server. The only benefit that I have is that I have like, I have multiple bases, so it's kind of hard to like take me all the way out, you know what I mean? But, uh, so what I have to do is use my uh, one or two bases, because I have workbenches and two bases, you know what I mean? Matter of fact, maybe I should take that workbench out of the horse base and put it in the bunker base, because that's gonna be my, uh, it's gonna try, I'm gonna try to make it into my main but obviously I have a lot of a lot of shit spread out so that's kind of the only benefit that I have right now is that I have uh, a lot of bases so. plus uh, a couple of them are pretty decent uh, decently built I need to get uh, a lot more high call which I like to get my high coil anymore from uh, HQ and Corey, which is so far up, ain't it? Oh wait, where's that? Where the fuck is HQ and Corey? 
the sulfur query that was so far out. HKM query is in the middle of the goddamn desert. Which it might be a hop, skip, and a jump away, you know what I'm saying? But that is so far. Might as well just get fucking uh, comps and scrap comps, you see what I mean? I live next to train yard, but these guys, there's, there's a there's just like a big ass compound. They're like double layer now, too. Yeah, yeah, for real though. <clears throat> I do need to actually run oil because you do get some comps and stuff. You get you mainly get like guns though, in my opinion. Every time I've went, I get like mainly guns and stuff like that. I need to go get my my vape my vape for nicotine. <laughs> Every time night comes, I just fucking basically can't really do anything. <clears throat> That's why I like to get all set up and I like to get electric set up. Get my lights rolling and shit like that. I could get like, I could get like little, those, those torches or whatever. I could get those, but I don't want to create light for myself, dude. Right now, you know what I mean? Like I need turrets set up before I do anything like that, so. I need my defense to set up. I don't want to create like a big old, oh, look at me, a beacon, shining beacon in the night, you know? So I kind of play a little bit defensively. And I butchered this fucking, this add on. But it's okay, bro. Look at this fucking add-on. It's not all the way, but it's pretty damn close, huh? But now I gotta do like half walls all the way around. But it's fine. It's more material, you know what I'm saying? And I think it might not be fine, bro, because it goes up to like the roof. Oh, I can't put one right there. That's another problem here. This is gonna be so fucking weird, dude. How do I fix this, bro? Oh, wait, I could put a, uh, uh, I guess I could put a metal barricade right there, but that's so weird, dude. I don't like it. And I'm gonna have to do like, a, I'm, almost, I'm almost tempted to just go out and grind out another fucking ore refinery, bro. Like, look at that shit, dude. Oh, this is too late. It's all good. Fuck it, huh? I get for living on the side of a fucking cliff, huh? It's all good. You gotta do what you gotta do for real. I should have just put it right here, but my thoughts was uh, to put it on TC room, which is, this is TC room, I'm pretty sure. So, it, it failed horribly, bro. That's right. 
go ahead. I guess put this shit in here. up here. That's why I have the ladders to kind of help me. Wait, where did I put my jacket? Right here? Okay. Uh. See what I mean? There's just a bunch of bases. And I'm slowly upgrading them. You know, stuff like that. And that's what, you know, nobody wants for real. Nobody wants me to get all set up. I'm gonna be a fucking problem. I'm gonna be a fucking problem. So paranoid now because those people moved in. Take up like my own metal. Sorry, right though. I'll just transfer some metal whenever I get that. Sulfur, but you can never have enough sulfur, you know. Wait a second here. Did I fuck that up? I think this top don't have a honeycomb on it. That was this room, or is this the, it, it, that is the honeycomb. I think I did it right, it just looks weird right there. Get out of here, deers. just built that big ass base and then like quit. 
I'm definitely gonna fucking be afraid, dude. I'm definitely gonna. I wanted to take a ladder over there. I don't even think I have ropes. Take a ladder over there, or something like that, and uh, get in that front door. What the fuck, dude? Ain't no way somebody built right next to the train yard, dude. That's funny as fuck. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Why not? Oh, there's some over And I honestly do just need some stone right now. Which maybe I don't. Maybe I should just get the metal. Just keep loading up that furnace. Kind of conflicted here because. Pretty sure I do need some stone. Might as well get whatever. Right? I swear, I always be seeing shit, dude. <clears throat> And here and shit, I guess. I'm gonna scope that out. I'm gonna see if that war refiner is running. No, I don't think it's running. I hate how I'm going uh, to just be door camping with the LR4X. <clears throat> a personal life. Ooh, high cross side. Um, homie went with the fucking, with the strong fucking, 
throwing this base for Maine. It's honestly not a bad idea. It's just like that is 16 rockets in, you know? Yeah, you could raid through the front doors, but the garage doors, man, it just becomes more and more and more expensive because you could put three doorways on each entrances to, to the furnace. See what I mean, bro? I'll be seeing shit, dude. Honestly, you need to be picking up berries too. See, it's, <clears throat> it's just there's too much shit that I need to do. So like, you need to sift through all of that and to figure out what you what you can do right now. You know what I mean? Yo, what's up? Welcome to my phone. The Fluffy Channel, where I fuck shit up and do shit that I'm not supposed to. Oh, yeah. I'm about to pick shit with some Zergs once I get set up. I might do a server one time where I play with my homies on some YouTube, but for right now, I'm on this server. Messing with the Molotov cocktails, the night vision goggles. I want to get an HMLMG. I want to see if I could take, I want to see how easy it is to take heli. I also want to try to do mill, mill tunnels. Because I've never done that monument. And, you know, it looks like you could get pretty juice from it, but at the same time, I feel like I could get the same results from running dome a couple times. Oh, they about ate it, bro. Yeah, that's right, run. They about got fucked up, dude. I thought that was a dude or a couple dudes or something, bro. Holy shit. Somebody does do train yard. But maybe I should just do a train yard real quick. Because I need some HQ. And a little bit of cost maybe. I don't fucking know, dude. I was going to just go, uh, make a ladder. Or a couple ladders or something. And uh, go see what's up with this neighbor, bro. Because that's my first priority. Is who the fuck is this neighbor? Why does he have such a big base? And see if I could get him out of there. I don't care if it's just a weird, weird guy. I don't give out server name. <clears throat> but he, he definitely has a big base, so. Bro, I don't give out server name. I'm not going to give out server name. See how big that base is? There's something definitely funky about it, dude. Like, I don't, I don't care if it's, it's still not that expensive to make. That's a, that's not something that you just go build, you know what I mean? Unless you're new to the game. He's either new to the game or that's something, bro. So I definitely want to see <clears throat> who's inside the base. Crack it open. Get to the bottom of this. I need to take that diesel up to, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's a thing by train yard. It'll pump out some uh, crude.
Okay, so I need three, uh, three ropes for a ladder. Or what? Is it two? This is, this is some bullshit, bro. I thought that I had ropes early, man. That's what I'm talking about. I'll be using too much ropes right now. I might take all this sulfur next door, too. Or replenish this extra stone. Um, 16 high cool. I mean, I had, to, I had to pick it up, bro. Okay. I'm just gonna cook this up in here. I don't need uh, two furnaces right now because I have that furnace base and it's kind of obstructing the passageway. This is going over the furnace base. And I'll see you know, if I have any ropes. Because I that's pretty sad I don't have enough ropes for a ladder. It's all good though. Let's go over the furnace base real quick. That metal, huh? That metal is no joke right now. I might bring a stack over and try to upgrade that bunker. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm going over there, and I mean, that's what eventually I'm going to be using it for. I honestly should be focusing on one base at a time, but it's okay. I got so much going on, man. Yeah, I kind of set this way too far out, but what is that? Don't tell me it's getting night. Okay. It's like my worst fear. That and getting door camped. Oh. That's my TC ring. I forgot about that. <clears throat> I'll definitely have to build uh, another door. Wait, where am I going? Oh, okay. Sewing kit. Even though I might need one or two or something like that. Well, I desperately need some rope. I'm not going to fuck around.
Welcome back to the fucking channel. Oh yeah. Doing some stuff. We're doing some stuff on some games. See how lazy I am? I don't even want to pick up the berries, bro. Because I don't want to have to drop it, the seeds and make room and go over to the other base and stuff like that. Like I said, there's just kind of too much stuff to do. And I'll just get uh, what I need to get accomplished right now. So thankfully, I live so close to Bandit. I could just run over here to scrap a... I didn't think, I feel like the recyclers been close, like got there, how far away do I have to run? You like how they have the splitters and the power and shit set up? Like they still have like the that's door controller. You know what I mean? I like how they still have uh, still have power. They're like they have a giant window. think they'll add the poker because that was this was on the last like design look they didn't even take the doorknob off the fucking door bro like come on what? <laughs> i just realized that it's a fucking door table dude on cinder blocks hell no nah. hell no nah. can you imagine one of those fucking falling smashing your foot dude the whole table comes off man, what the fuck? like try bro like Y'all out here making guns? You got a fucking fan? That's new, bro. You can make a gun, but not legs for your table. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That's bandit camp for you. But, um, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Forgot to uh, cut this jack. You know what I mean? It's just kind of a, it's a lot to maintain is the only thing, having all these bases. Like this one has three days on TC. I gotta keep that in mind, bro. And I'm gonna try to uh, get this shit upgraded to metal and then just pump out some metal at my main, or at my furnace base. And then just kind of transfer it.
Damn, that's just so much low grade, bro. That's oh, right. I think I might have. Um. Animal fat. I think I have a bunch of animal fat somewhere. Cause there's no way I used all that. You know what I mean? And I might not necessarily use these mollies. I just need to ladder up in there and see see what the base is looking like in, inside. Cause it could already be rated or whatever. Not, dude. Have I been using my logo or my animal fat? There's no way. There's no way. Yes, so. It's all good. I could always fish. It's just, it's kind of boring. Never moved in next door, motherfucker. You ain't see there's a base over there? What the fuck is this shit, dude? This is the fucking worst. This little center column right here. This main base area, for sure. Wonder if this fire is gonna roll down here. You think? Oh, it hit somebody, bro. It's scary, bro. It's so loud. It's scary. And fire does roll down. Which I think lowers its effectiveness for real. I'm gonna have to uh, run it like right there. Oh, that hurt me. God damn. Whoa. a lot, huh? So if you want to be defended with your shitty wood base, make sure you go all the way. I guess I'm using all the 
guess I did use all the ones. It's all good. At this point, it might be better off uh, actually grading. Do some of them rounds. Oh, so we got one. Hey, let's go. TC, huh? Yeah. Oh, there's another guy. This is this, bro. I could have raided the top. That's the thing, like, how do you seal something like this, bro? What's up? Welcome to the Fluffy Channel. I like the Fluff People's Day. Uh, it's going pretty good. I obviously just raided this little base, which, God damn, look at the weird, awful, weird, just no good design. Jesus, it's crazy to look at. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Anyways. This almost looks like I see somebody, you know to do like a raid complete type of deal, you know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, and it didn't even stick. It sticks when they're alive. Here, bro. Oh, that one did stick. Insetti. Oh, 
the Yo. Bed. Bitch. My baby. And that grass is gonna fuck with me, dude, because I keep seeing looking like something moving. Might as well take some stuff on. Like, what do you even take that's, like, not that great, you know what I mean? Ready complete. Put your old big ass, weird ass, big ass, funky looking base, unupgraded ass TC ass, could have raided through the fucking roof. Let me get back to the base and I'll read that comment. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, shit. He, he, he did come out with the wine, didn't he? Snoop Dogg must be doing stuff at this point. <laughs> but I'm here for it, dude. Sulfur over again. You know what I'm saying? I need to fucking do something here, bro. Like, this is crazy. Like, I can't really put anything anywhere. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely wanted to get those guys out of here. So, it's overall, I think it was a good, good call. You know what I'm saying? What's on there? Ooh, bet. About fucking time, dude. About time. It's not active right now, but it is the weekend. It'll probably pick up because this server is not. Uh, usually the dead servers can like slip into like a full dead, you know what I'm saying? But so far this server is like doing, doing pretty well. I'm like fucking this. Take that somewhere and throw it on the ground. I need to consolidate that somewhere if I can. I also did. Okay, I'll just go and pick this up. But I also did honeycomb this base, so I can start with these. You know what I'm saying? Let's do that further up. Let's see if I could possibly place two. That's just gonna help help with some storage. Let's see if I have have that BP. I do not. <laughs> That's all good. And then what am I trying to do? I'm trying to put this away. Huh? Can't even fit this shit up in here, bro. That's what she said. I should keep those gears with that tier two because I'm going to be taking that tier two most likely. And it's getting nighttime. Great. He said, Hey, yo, <laughs> dude. All right, so that's just when I when my loot looks like this, dude, I just sit here and look at it. It's like. You know, like, what the fuck do I even do, dude? Probably drop that jack right here. I also wanted to, uh, store this. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that, because somebody breaks into my shit, or that comes into that first door, then it doesn't really matter.
Yeah, it looks decent. I need a uh, 75 scrap, which I think I have some at the other place here. Wait, I could drop the uh, sulfur off in there. Right now, I'll just be doing this. Look at all that horse food. Mm. Mm. See, look how much fertilizer I got, bro. And it's a two to three ratio on that. I know you probably already know that, but I only said he was kind of new. And that's like, so basically if I get 2,000 fertilizer and I trade it in, that'll be 3,000 scrap which is a decent amount, so definitely uh, definitely worth at least checking it out because I would suggest figuring out the best way to, to get scrap, period. <clears throat> so I've been, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I do. Yeah, that's how, I mean, that's what I would suggest for anybody is just kind of look up some YouTube videos. You could even slide through here and you know if I know it you know I usually if it's a good method I usually try to do it obviously I'm not fully set up so like I just I might not have something but I always try to do what I think is meta you know what I mean it's not the meta you know what I'm saying but I just do whatever I want for real I do what I think is uh, profitable for me at the time, so. There we go. Hell yeah. Nothing wrong with that, brother. There's, a, there's definitely some content here. And I'll be capturing it on stream, dude. And it's like, damn, you know, some crazy shit just happened or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and move this because it's getting cluttered right there. But a couple of my videos, uh, I'll get views later on, but the shit will be happening right then, you know what I mean? Like, and it would just be nice to get that every, like every time, you know what I mean? But obviously we can, we can try. But you never know what's on a server, you know what I mean? It could be a bunch of cheaters, and then you go outside and you get absolutely fucking shit on. So, just depends. All right, now that I got that taken care of, my problem is I need a bunch of metal right now. So, that's why. I it just kind of sucks because I'm using all my metal to upgrade my bases and make doors and shit like that. So maybe I need to get get rich. You know what I mean? Somehow get a bunch of metal. Which the large furnace is honestly the best way. I need a, a night vision goggles, even though that's going to take away from my metal face mask. If I get some night vision goggles, then I could creep on people. Hell yeah. Um, I knew I saw a fucking airdrop coming there or something. I honestly want to do a raid. But there's nothing huge I could do, it's just, I want to do some kind of raid. I could fish. I could go for that airdrop. Which I might, my little I like how I didn't even go back for anything left in there. 
Yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Fluffy Drop, bro. <laughs> this is my channel. I know you're new here, but... <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I just stay the raid, bro. I'm, that's my thing, dude. I like, to, I like to grind it out and just fucking raid after raid after raid. Or just do a big raid. Like, a, like raid a big team. Obviously, I don't want to raid them while they're on. I'm just me. Whoa, I heard that. I heard that fucking. Yo, what's up? Welcome to the Fluffy Drop channel. Where we're raiding out here. We out here. We doing some raids. We're running in the night. I need to get those night vision goggles up for real. I think it's just a. Uh, you gotta watch out for them animals, dude. But anyway, I think it's just like one. So it's two tech traps and then 10 high claw. Okay. So all my tech traps, I'm probably gonna have to start saving. It's not too expensive on the tech trash, but it is too, so. Maybe I should do a monument run. Or I can go uh, turn some fertilizer in and get it at Bandit, but what's the fun in that? You know what I mean? And see, look, that's why I never do the color, the highlighter bags. Because since I, I live even close enough, I, I would have had a, a melee weapon. I, I might have stopped and just destroyed it right there. Just because. See if there's a C4 in here, and maybe do another raid. For the raid people. I honestly need. need as a matter of fact, I have somebody that I want to fuck with. I need a locker, bro. I want to get a locker set up. Uh, from that raid, it was just uh, this bunch of random shit. I could go back and get all that wood. Which I might end up doing. I left so much wood in there. But it was, it was nighttime. And yeah, lockers are OP. You just save so much time. Because otherwise, I have to have a little box set up. And then you just kind of got to put everything on. Take everything off. And then sometimes you'll be coming up. Uh, yeah, there's like... You game chat, but you'll have to press the button or whatever. And not be in a party. Which I'm not, so, because I'm solo, no need for me to be in a party. But yeah, it wasn't that much. It was just like some random, some random loot, but he does have a bunch of wood. It was, too, it was a duo. They had like a shotgun, and a couple guns, but they had the prototype and it had the, uh, the weapon flashlight, motherfucker. I finally got that shit, BP, dude. Okay, look, let's judge it, let's judge it. Oh, that's probably all the way over here, dude. It's uh, 70, Northeast 70, remember that. Remember that, chat. <clears throat> Just over the hill, Northeast 70. Whoa, pig, whoa. Whoa, back up out of here, bro. That's why I honestly needed. I should have just crafted a fucking weapon flashlight at this point. Is this sewer? Is this sewer? Almost looked like that door opened. And I think that they changed the layout. I don't remember it being elevated like that. I know they did some uh, updates to the monuments. Oh, 
Oh, that's another fish. I'm about to eat my butthole. Run. I might have to roll up another uh, cigarette here in a minute. Some legal, some legal substances. Honestly, could have been right there in that compound. It could have been a call in. Cause that's far enough away that you never know, dude. I'm kind of bad with the judging it. <laughs> uh, no, nah, you don't got to be a god at it, dude. Like I said, I'm not even that great at PvP. I just kind of uh, had to learn it. And even still... There's a lot of cheating. So, you know, even if you are good at, at it, it doesn't necessarily matter. Because there's a lot of cheating, unfortunately. But there's ways around of the, you don't, you don't always have to PVP. Wolves, bro. But yeah, you don't always have to PvP. Well, there's there's gonna be PvP. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you don't have to focus on it. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to be like, oh man. You know, this sucks or whatever. You can you can play the game in a different way. I used to play this game so hardcore. When I get shit on, bro, <clears throat> I would just quietly farm, like, and just come back with a little bit of sulfur. Goddamn wolves, bro. Anyways, keeps interrupting me. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that you gotta go through, unfortunately. There's all the animals. And they're kinda upped it so there's like more animals and they just kinda walk where you're walking and stuff like that. I always try to pick up extra cloth so I can just make bandies like that in a situation like that because I don't want to use my only stem that I have because that's for like emergencies. I shouldn't even use that one, but I didn't bring any extra cloth. So as a Molotov cocktails, I was trying to figure out if uh, if the flames would roll downhill, you know what I mean? And yes, they did. <laughs> and yes, they was burning me. It's kind of hard to get an angle where it was, so... And it took a lot more Molotov cocktails to destroy the the uh, wooden foundation. So just something to take take into consideration. Imagine there's a dude with a shotgun in here. It fucking melts me. I'd I'd fucking I'd cry. I would just cry. Bro, look how far I push drops, but then I don't want to do certain shit. <laughs> like, I don't feel like doing certain things, and then... Oh, there's a drop. Let's run halfway across the fucking board. Well, that's why they call me Fluffy Drop. does kind of give me a chance to roam a little bit, even though half of it was at night. I've never really been over this way. Not sober, anyway. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. I'm still in a two cloth. <laughs> Dude. Homie saving like five stone. A rock. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? 
Ah, uh, shit. Anyway, there is a base over there. Looks like a decayed base right there. Big loot. <laughs> Shit, you, the shit that I see in Rust, bro, is pretty crazy. Okay, so what if this was a call-in? What if it was those guys? What if they're on? What if they're hitting oil? What if they're raided? Because look at this, missing a door. What if they're building on to it? They just have a place to do it. So many questions. They could have just pushed cargo. be raided and sealed. Well, there's a shotgun trap. This is something, bro. This is something for sure. And I didn't find that drop, which I could have missed, you know, been misdirected. But the way that they have some of these panels upgraded to metal, this is like they're in the process of like upgrading everything. You know what I mean? It's like a. I have rust lore. I don't know if there is rust lore, but I think that the scientists is the government and they can't control people anymore, but it's still like a type of organization almost. And it's just like they're, they're just sending out the helicopter to break up fights and patrolling the monuments so that way people can't get what they need and succeed. and they just want to disperse the population and yeah it's, it's post it's post apocalyptic so i think it's nuclear because uh the, everything is radiated so it has to be like a nuclear war and then like everything's fucked up but then like you know all the government's disbanded but there's like one you know world order or something that's trying to control the population and people are just running around fucking Oh, there's a, uh, that furnace is on. And I have the new skin and two big bases. They're probably on cargo. Heli. Speaking of heli, bro. Let's get the fuck out of here, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. either that or since we're all on an island it's like a uh it's like a test experience like a test thing like the fucking savage game or the fucking hunger games or whatever the fuck where they just drop people on an island and they have to fend for themselves and then when things get too rowdy or they want to spruce something up they send out the you know send out the helicopter and have bradley rolling around on the launch site and besides, is there nuclear codes? We just don't know. Because it looks like there's a, there's a nuke in there. Alright, well... I didn't get anything. I got some pretty decent information. Looks like there's at least two groups over on this side of the board here. 
<clears throat> At least Heli was shooting the fuck out of somebody uh, around here. And then there's definitely that team that's built up over there. So. Yeah, I think that's more the more likely. I like the uh, my first one. I like that's more interesting. You know what I mean? But it's just an island. You know what I mean? This is just an island. So I think that this is like where air dropped in, or like test tube babies or something, clones, and we just fucking. Cause I'm Brent. I think I'm Brenda. Like I'm the chick, and there's names for him. Why is there names for them? You know, it's like a template for. Well, that's just part. That's just still. Like, oh well, there's a yeah, that's a laboratory. Good point. That's a very that's a very good point. And why are they patrolling certain things like the uh, that Bradley next to uh, uh, launch site? I think that they, you know, they still have nukes, or there is a nuke, or I don't know. Or it's just irradiated. No, it can't be. It can't be like we're test tube babies or clones. We just happen to be on the island. You know what I mean? I think we just, wow, look at that base. Because I think they're literally trying to patrol and protect their shit. And we're just rebellious citizens with uh, large capabilities, you know what I mean? Because that's all a government is, it's just people that banded together and used modern, you know, the, the modern technology of the, of the civilization. Like, uh, back in the uh, Old West, the gunslingers, the, the sheriff was like, you know, I don't want to fuck with the posse. You know what I mean? They're like, ah, oh, fuck that. They have to choose their words carefully and choose who, choose their battles carefully. Because everybody could be their own law. You know what I mean? Everybody can stand up to the government. They just get 30, they get like 30 dudes together too and just like run it. It's like a whole army. To a town. And there were like there were like one sheriff in a town. And like thirty dudes roll up on horses. Like no, this is my town <laughs> for the moment. You know what I mean? You probably probably rob people, party, and drink. That's kind of the way it is. It's like the Wild Wild West. So everybody out here just gunslinging. These groups that set up. Yes. Yeah, it was a long ass run. Did they take Ellie? Nope, Ellie's still out. Wow. I do need to do some recon in my area. It's nice to know that there's a couple of Zergs, or a couple of groups, at least, not Zergs. I shouldn't always say those Zergs, but. I think got like a little town going on over there. So do I, for real. I got like a, I got my own shit. Wow. Always check the, uh, Cool boxes because it could be like a uh, jackhammer. See what I mean? The pigs like walk directly in your fucking path, dude. So annoying, like all the animals. I know why they did it, but it's just like, damn. Damn, man. Is that a base up? Yeah, that's that uh, solo furnace base in it. And here I am running across the field. Promised myself I don't do that, even, even if it's kind of quiet. 
think my room's up. Yeah, let me get some stones. Yeah, usually, <clears throat> I usually like to run on the hill line, like, but like, if this is the hill, I run like this, so my head's only very, like, covered, you know what I mean, and then I run through trees, I try to do stuff like that, it might take a little bit longer, like, slightly longer, you know what I mean, it's not that, it's not that much longer, but people run out in the open field, and that's how, that's how I get fucked up, including me, you know what I mean, so... I just like to try to play it smart. Since I don't have a spin. Get away from me, big that fucking wolf. Bro, it's coming after me. Get me. Waste all my bullets on wolves. Might do a train right now. I need to get a couple of spins. That's just the fucking weirdest base, you know what I mean? I got um, Twitch, and I thought about, my homies talking about Kick, but I can't uh, get it set up through my PlayStation, so right now it's just here and Twitch, and I post videos on TikTok. Hey, look, the back's still here. Hey. We'll just like pick up what's left. Yeah, um, but I don't even know. Like, I've never used it, so. Why didn't I grab that? But I've never used the uh, kick, so my homie was trying to get me to use it. Or, like, get on. And, you know, look, somebody's back. And I didn't kill the bad. Fuck it. I don't care. But he was saying you get more money, but you don't get demonetized as much. Because, you know, the cursing, if you, if you curse, or whatever, you usually get demonetized, or whatever, whatever. I, I'm not sure, because I don't get monetized, <laughs> like, I need a certain amount of, like, money, or, like, views, you know what I mean, so, oh wait, I need, I could just put this on, so I need to actually up my, uh, like, my views, so, I need to get a couple good videos is what I mean. Is that like... It's three hours, okay.
I mean, yeah, I would just, I don't know much about it, so. I just been, bro, that grass has been getting me every time, dude. But, oh, I forgot about this, too. Let's go. Four chunks, let's go. I'll take this one gear and this has he. But yeah, ever since I started streaming, I, I can't remember. I think my homie brought it up. Like, yeah, yeah, if you, I mean, if you like it, you might as well stream or something like that. Because, uh, you know, I never had, like, I had homies, but they're always, like, wanting to play what they want to play. You know what I mean? They want to do what they want to do. And uh, just kind of, like, end up not. Yo, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, I just kind of, uh, at one point decided to just start streaming, and then it's always been on YouTube, so I kept it going, dude. And it's been over two years, ever since, uh, a little bit after beta. Uh, yeah, I got Xbox, too. But I'm usually on, uh, on some PlayStation. Yes, sir. Look at all the sulfur just waiting to be picked up, dude. I'll leave some of that in there. Now I'll do some of this. Yeah, it's on this rust? Yeah, yeah, bro. I got rust on some uh, Xbox as well, so. I'll just keep that furnace base pumping out that metal. I need to. I need to um, finish upgrading that. Just kind of juggling stuff here on what I want to do for real. Yeah, there's, uh, there's definitely, you know, definitely worth checking out, uh, on some kick or something like that. But like I said, I can't, uh, stream through PlayStation, so right now I'm just gonna keep it where it's at and just keep on my YouTube. And I'm, I'm so close to being where I need to be. I'm, like, I'm over halfway where I need to be. And it's just, like, so close. And it, I, honestly... I've been, uh, like, I lost my internet for a while, and I started streaming again, and I got, I got 30, it was like 30 subscribers in, like, three weeks, man, I was like, hell yeah, hell yeah, so thanks to everybody that's been supporting me and shit, so, that's, it's just crazy, I'm like, eh. I didn't think it would, it would be all like that, but it's pretty cool to, pretty cool to have y'all come through. Show your love and support. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just put some of this stuff up here. Um, see what I mean? I just like get confused, bro. Sulfur, it's just um, kind of like, like I said, I need the, I need the metal. So, what can I do? Oh, there's some high bar right there. Make a little bit more bullets. Get that pitiful GT, huh? And I need a 
shitload of those in, huh? Outside with GP. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So basically that's kind of where I'm at right now is I don't even stream other games. I was streaming other games. Just whatever I wanted to play, I was streaming. And I think even that can be you can lose certain people that only like one of the games that you're playing, for example, and you can gain other people that's, that just want to see gaming and see you stream or like you or like your personality or think you're funny or whatever. So you're going to have those people sticking around. But if I was going to uh, play other games, I would do like something like Spoon Kid did and just make a whole nother YouTube. Damn, I need to roll one, bro. It's, oh, it's 1.30. I thought I was thought I was sitting here getting nighttime. All right. Got a rope. Do I have that BP? I do. I don't have explosives, do I? Nope. So I was gonna say I could do rocket raids. First of all, I'd have to BP this too. Which I don't know if it'd be worth it, cause then I'm then I'd be spending low grade as well. Matter of fact, let me see here. Might just put this wood in here. Get these two uh, over here to that furnace base here. Look at this shitty fucking expansion right here. We're not gonna talk about it, bro. That was only a hundred? Damn. Okay, so I wanted some low grade. Horses in there making poops. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get some diesel. We're gonna do what I wanted to do to get some low grade. You know that's pumping out some low grade right now. It's just gonna do I have diesel in here too. I do not. We'll maximize our effort here, you know what I mean? And unfortunately, I gotta roll one. Yeah, trap bases are nice. I like trap bases. But I have not recently. The last one I remember. Uh, I was, I was, it was actually a trap area, and it had shops, which is mean, bro. Who does that? It was a funky looking area, too, and I wasn't in the air, like, I have never been over there, and I was like, I had loot on me, so I was like, run, like, roaming around it, like, what the fuck is this? Is it rated, like, a rated compound, or like, what the hell, dude? Of course, fucking shotgun trap, and, and then as I'm, trying to get my shit shotgun trap everywhere fucking uh fucking bear bear traps the fucking uh there's wood floor spikes everywhere bro i was like what who the fuck does some evil ass shit like <laughs> and so that's even more evil 
than what I would do. You know? <laughs> Bro, it was evil, dude. And I was getting pissed because my loot was sitting there. It was taking a long time to get back to it. And I didn't, I wasn't familiar with it. And dude. <laughs> it was it was actually dope <laughs> not gonna lie at the time i was like man fuck these guys dude like <laughs> what the fuck I rate them for that but looking back dude that's funny as fuck dude <laughs> it's straight up evil dude like i'll be messing with people but not like that <laughs> I just, I'll physically be messing with them, man. I don't build no structures that messes with them unless it's like a trap base. And I will leave the door open. Because people would like, what, what, what? You know? And then you have a twig floor and you build it to where it's like you walk up, open that front door, twig floor right there, but it's open under it. And then put shotgun traps under it. And you could do two or three, but you can uh, mess up and fall down there and get stuck. So I would just stick it to like one or two. Because they're going to be looking up for shotgun traps. They're not going to think that a shotgun trap can shoot through twig necessarily. Some people are wise to that, but I think that's the most simplest design that I have. And I will have a garage door on it. And a window on TC, so that way if they're like, oh, fuck these guys, <laughs> you know, and they come back and try to raid, it's they still got to blow up shit. And I won't keep, uh, like, I'll just keep stuff that I need for the base. Maybe a kit, or like a DB kit, or a little bit of comps, or whatever I'm, or whatever I put in the base when I'm just walking by. And then every time I'm on, I'll just leave the door open. So, and then, like, if I hear it, or I'll, or if, periodically come back and check on it yeah i got a bunker base right now actually that's my that's what i'm gonna build i'm gonna try to build into my main base just because bunkers are just so awesome bro i would suggest bunkers for everybody until they patch it or until there's a way around it which i'm pretty sure there's a way around mine which if you rate if you hit at the right spot Matter of fact, I need to check the Molotov, if it was the Molotov cocktails can do it. Because if it could burn through the twig on the other side with just Molotov cocktails, I need to know about it. Because it, it was Ensign rockets, which I wouldn't be too worried about Ensign rockets because who's going to show up with that to, to raid a bunker? I might, just because I'm a dickhead, but... Chances are it's not going to happen. And they're just gonna right through the side. Yeah, the bunker bases. Okay. I got you, homie. It's a good concept. This one is, like I said, this one could be flawed. So I wouldn't. I would suggest learning like the harder ones. But this is so easy, and most people don't really know how to actually do this like actually what the what the flaw can be is what i mean so all right this is basically a two by two see the squares this is just one lower square okay so it's like a three squares you drop one of them down and then you build the triangles next to it and you wall all the way around this is a honeycomb right here and you and then you build your doorway right there Okay, simple enough. You build a half wall, build this floor, and that's the only reason why you build that half wall, and to build another half wall right there, and then you shoot out that half wall, and you build the roofs, okay? And the point of that is, all right, towards the end of the night, oh, I'm about to hop off, time to steal out the bunker, and do a half wall, or even a low wall or whatever. See that? So it creates stability for this roof. And that's why that changes because it's creating stability for that roof. 
And you can't get to this little thing from anywhere. But like I said, there could be a flaw from the outside. If you shoot in this corner, like at the right spot with like an incense rocket, it'll the flames will will destroy that twig. See what I mean? And then that's how you get out. But you have to have make sure you have a bag. You have to have a bed in here. Because you could fuck around and actually acc accidentally seal the bunker and kill and respawn or something like that, and then you're fucked. And that's uh, my simple bunkered bunker layout. There's more complex ones, like the stair, the stairwell one. I think that that's a really thought out design, um, but it's just kind of kind of too complicated for me to want to actually like take time to learn. Oh shit. This one, but... <laughs> what is he doing? Uh. Uh. Hell yeah, I'll be getting lit on my streams, bro sometimes and I'll just be oh it's jiggity jigs poor dude yes sir yes sir it's gonna be like why'd you raid me oh, I picked up his bag or did I destroy it? He can't, he can't uh, pick it up. Ooh. Goofy guy. He's sitting there peeking. <laughs> He's obviously upset that I fucking raided him. Why would you build a base next to so close and so big, bro? Out of nothing. Like, that's just such a weird. Obviously, he's probably new. He's probably upset because I'm experienced and I killed him, but, bro, you, you gotta realize you build close to somebody like that, you're gonna get ready to, bro. I don't need this stuff, but it's good to have something in a base, you know what I mean? Oops. I need that. Yes, yeah, sir. What if he's sitting here with the Yoka? Hell no, dude, that's, uh, the only way that I would do that is if it's kind of like a maze, and you, and you have to, like, kind of, like, break through a lot of, uh, areas, because it's so easy to raid, and it takes so much time, that probably took, like, an hour or two hours, bro, because, look, each, each wall is, like, tier 300 wood, and you gotta, uh, spend, like, 75 wood, Build the twig. Bro, he fucking ate that to the head, bro. Shot him in the head. So yeah, dude, that's thousands of wood. Unless he found it. He's sitting there hitting wood. I didn't see any chainsaws in there. Motherfuckers be hitting the, all that wood for like an hour. Even if there's two of them, bro. And then they hit like three stone nodes. You know what I mean? Like fucking goofies bro because the stone is harder to blow up than the wood wood actually you could use fire to blow up so but uh yeah so it's kind of pointless unless it's like that's all you have and you just kind of want to get something together before you hop off 
that's the only way I would do that. Because otherwise, you're, you would have to, you, you're going to be spending too much time. I might as well go out, try to find some stone, try to get some, uh, try to get some metal for a door, which I could get that from comps or whatever. You want the strongest door and the strongest wall. Not always, because first of all, somebody could see that you have high qual walls and be like, all right, well, they have high qual at least in their TC and raid you for that. But chances are they're going to raid you for anything. And because you don't have high qual walls, there's going to be somebody that comes along like, hey, this is a little easy base to raid. Yeah, exactly. So you can mol Molotov cocktail uh, wood pretty, pretty easily. So yeah, there's, there's just goofies. Like I said, honestly, there's probably noobs, but they'll learn eventually don't build that close to people like they they probably didn't t they didn't hold on let me <laughs> they probably didn't think that uh, like they didn't think anything of it because it was just a bunch of solo locks on the doors so they could have thought it was a solo village which is what i want or like a place where a bunch of solos are building bases Because it looks like there's just a bunch of solos building bases over there. Man, I could have swore there was like a, uh, like one of those things where you put diesel in and fucking crude oil comes out. I could have swore, bro. Because I know water treatment plant has it. It's like right next to the water treatment. You look at all them windmills, bro. I gotta do something about that. I need to figure out exactly who they are. That's it. For real. <laughs> I, I feel like I sound kind of country. Look, look, there it is, bro. There it is, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm trying to help you, motherfucker. Start this engine up, and it just pumps out like uh, crude and uh, low grade. And you just chill here, <laughs> and fucking be paranoid and watch your back every ten seconds, because these motherfuckers definitely be running a uh, train. But I don't even know who they are. I don't know if they're online. I don't know if they're super active, super strong, you know, good at PvP or what, whatnot. Usually, if they're not good at PvP, I feel super confident for the day, but I know, I know in the back of my mind, he's probably waiting for me to hop off and he's gonna offline me. So I could go over there and just start shitting on him, like, hell yeah, these guys suck at PvP. But then I'm like, he's probably gonna, he probably has a bunch of fucking, rockets bro <laughs> he's gonna fucking raid the shit out of me and that happens and it happens you gotta worry about the ones that are loaded with kits and you're like why are these guys so free and you're just shitting all over them you kill them two or three times even but then you don't see them ever they're still online though the whole time but, but you don't never see them that's when you gotta be worried because they're so mad and they probably got like five or six homies that they play with that are like a, at least half of them are good at PvP and probably Zen out there getting kits and getting guns and getting loot for them. And then they're out there hitting sulfur all day, hitting material all day. 
and then and then they're like i know where you live because i've done it i've done it that's why i used to be ass at pvp look at that bro i used to be ass at pvp and then like i said i got the ps5 so i upgraded there and then i just just had to practice which sounds funny because it's a video game but you gotta get good you know what i'm saying thank you thank you doing some things on the server not necessarily big things right now but you know i'm getting there it's just a process to even like thanks get set up and then you got to find somebody to actually raid and it's like you gotta get your stuff back to your base and do all this shit and then it's like oh well me personally dude i don't feel safe so it's like i want to build multiple bases and then just kind of have a good foundation so that way if i do because man i'm telling you i'll be like all right i got something going on <laughs> like i should actually get power set up for real, and get turrets. Maybe that's what I should focus on before raiding. It's just sometimes you get a lot of good loot from raiding. And I could do it offline. Just get a, just switch out this LR for my other one. And uh, put a silencer on it. Somebody get that? Where'd it go? This is bullshit. What if there's a little homie that I raided? I don't give out server name. Sorry. But I'll probably do a wipe one time where I just play with all my YouTube homies and we just make a lot of problems for people. Yeah, dude. If you look up, if you look up my uh, TikTok, I actually posted a screenshot. Uh, it, was, it was these guys. It was like he was like trying to bully me too. Like he's like, how much how much sulfur you got? What sulfur? How much sulfur you got? Like, bruh, you gonna raid me for my solo loot, bro? Like, okay. Like, there, I was like, there's no point in hitting sulfur. I'm solo. And he's like, imagine, we are 10 men. Like, bro, <laughs> we are 10 men. Ten men. So that's why <laughs> sometimes I'll be fucking around like, ten men. <laughs> we are men. And there's 10 of us. Oh yeah, I hope you like <laughs> Hope you like a lot of dudes in your base. A lot of big strong guys in here. <laughs> <laughs> dude. You know, like Alright, now I can't see shit again. I need to get a uh, flashlight. Somebody definitely got that drop. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to uh, train. I have a feeling it's that homie that I raided. And he might be building another base. Or it could just be some rando. Somebody that's built up in the area. I thought it might have been that solo with the... Uh, with that uh, furnace base. Which it could have been. He could have got into his house before I uh, looked at his door, because I was—that's what I was kind of thinking. So I was like, kind of wait and see, you know, that uh, somebody goes to that door, and I was just gonna start banging him. I was also thinking about taking train. But the problem with that is I start I have to start popping off 
And uh, as you can tell, you know, people are kind of close, so <clears throat> it wouldn't take much to just camp me or something like that. It's real easy to camp a train when you know uh, when you know what you have to do. So you know what phase there are. Like there's two different switches, two different buildings, and then that main building. So if there's if they're still trying to flip the switches, then there's two different sides that they have to go to. You know, just knowing that information really can uh, fuck somebody's day up. But it's not bad. So we'll just take that back. That was only three, that was only like three low or three diesel, right? Look at all them fucking lasers, bro. You know they're not rated. I need to go get a shitload of wood. But I don't even want to fuck with them, dude. I need to get power set up, dude. I need to get turrets. Maybe I should focus on building my main base and then set some power up. I do want to start fucking with them, and the the result of that is usually they try to find me. <laughs> I do need to know if they're on or not, and place a bunch of bags next to their shit. Oh, that's that structure. That's a structure. Okay. I was like, "Well, whose fucking base is that?" so many bases it's like damn <laughs> kind of hard to keep up I'm nearby like <laughs> you know there it is Switch that uh, to a different box. Like I got two uh, windmills, so that's good. We'll go ahead and pick these up. I kind of wish these stacked. You could do, th you know, well, fuck. If they stack, then you'd have to make certain to stack more. I mean, there's no fucking room. I'll just keep it on me, bro. I'll be alright. And yeah. I have some fucking diving fins on me. Why not? You never know what's gonna happen, man. And I need to charge my vape. And it's night time. So we're gonna take a quick little five minute session here. Oh, shit. That's what I like doing too, man. Sometimes you play so much on the game, it's just like. Back to back. Hey, it's fucking getting morning time. What am I talking about? I'm about to get a charger though.
Yo, 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 yo. What kind of alcohol do you like? I'm a barman, bartender, or cocktails. I like, uh, so if we're talking about, okay, so I drink Bud Light and uh, Fireball, but if we're talking about some uh, preferred drinks or whatever, I like to, uh, I like just this, uh, I like margaritas at this one place that I go to, one Mexican place I go to. I haven't had any other margaritas that I like. You know, I drink some of those kind of for the taste. It just goes down so smoothly. I mean, but, uh, so good. Whoa. I thought that was a dude for a second. Imagine he's, he's trying to rebuild or something. Poor dude. Probably spent like five hours building that base, dude. All day. He's like, just to get raided by some Zerg. And it's just me. <laughs> dude. All right, here we go. Shotgun trap BP. I need one in here. With another stack. Ain't that shit crazy? <laughs> Literally. That shit is crazy. I like to spread out like, I know it's just like fertilizer, but I spread my loot out there. Oh yeah, I need to go over there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, that shotgun trap is kind of important to have right here, but. Might make it harder to get some horses in there for real. Oh my god, I thought my shadow was chasing me, bro. Holy shit. I started some coffee. This is furnace race. Wait, I need to actually cook up the crude on that. Yes, sir. Am I stuck, bro? I need to make a garage door look over. I need to bring some metal over here. <laughs> uh, so, I drink Bud Light and uh, Fireballs. But, I do like this one margarita from a Mexican restaurant that I love. Here we go. Pick this up. But I haven't had any good margaritas 
from anywhere else except that one place, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna stick to that one favorite Mexican restaurant. Let's do this first. So I got a little bit of a base going, you know what I mean? Got the tier two down. Maybe I'll transfer a little bit of comps or something. Furnace would be killing me sometimes. Let me in! Alright, so. We've two. This is what I should have been doing, but that's okay. Who cares? I do need. Well, maybe I don't need to go get wood. Right now, anyway. Look at all that sulfur, bro. Bro, it just sounded like somebody was rolling up on a horse. Oh, well. If I get raided, I get raided, right? Oh, yeah. See how I'd be walking around my fucking furnace, bro? It's a fucking trap in here, dude. And then everything looks like a dude. Fucking the side of the trees, the fucking animals. Shit not rendering incorrectly. Or maybe I'm just paranoid. Maybe that's it. I take that shit out because Patty me, but I'll have to get my hammer and shit a lot quicker. A metal a metal door frame with a fucking wood door is crazy. I wish I could get down there. It's just, you know, I kind of fucked up. And I would normally put, well, I would put the uh, roofs facing the other way. I think I could. So they'd be over there. And that would create another, like, honeycomb type of deal. But. And that's going to be visible on the outside as well. But it's okay. And oh, uh, look, upgrade the whole base, man. It's 
So I got a nice, nice bit of metal, uh, metal dot base here. Uh, I need a boot. Uh -huh. And welcome back to the Fluffy Channel. I'm, I kind of want to, uh, matter of fact, let me see. It's just like metal and wood, right, for locker. Yes, sir. What kind of locker should I get, guys? The Coca-Cola one? The weird one? Maybe do the real one, huh? Uh, anybody like Coca-Cola? It seems a lot in a little bit of time. Maybe it's a high pot, or maybe it's a times three or something. Okay, so we'll do. Make a locker real quick. Yeah, I'm trying to turn this one into a main base, so. Finally got a locker down, huh? Hey, yeah. Uh. Hey. Now, so my door camping it don't really matter. It just matter that, matters that my door would be open. Yeah, so life sucks, bro. But you know what? It's pretty satisfying when you win against like a three man. I feel like they show up to raid, you know what I mean? And like, obviously I couldn't really do much here, but let's say I did get going on my main base and I did have a bigger, taller base the shooting pool and turrets and a really big problem to take out easily you know what i'm saying then we're talking about something else and one person can potentially defend against like a three man a four man if they suck yeah but usually it's a it's a lot harder against like when you even the three man's pretty difficult so oh yeah i got bullets right here bro what am i doing no, I do one, bro. <laughs> Look at all these hazies. I forgot about them. I could do, I could do oil, I could do oil or something like that. But what I want to do, for real, is just. I don't even need this kit. What I need is a bunch of bags right now. And I'll show y'all. Hell yeah. I'll show y'all what I mean. I don't even think I need that many bags. And 
I'll show y'all how to mess with uh, mess with the jerk. Matter of fact, let's take this with us. Cause you can't stray away from the fight. You could hide and not want to PvP him and stuff. That's cool. But I'm saying like, I'm just about to casually roll out with a bunch of the cloth. But you don't want to just ignore that there is a there next to you. Cause they're, they're gonna notice this shit. One of them rolls through here, they're gonna be like, what the fuck is this, bro? We have a whole community over here. Like we gotta take one of these bases out, you know what I mean? four bases, five bases, or something like that. They're gonna take that shit out, dude. They're gonna take every one of them out, not just like, you know what I mean? Not one or two, like, not just one, maybe just one. If they if they don't have boom, it just depends. <laughs> Bro, come on, I thought that was dead. Jesus. Fucking bear, bro. Wasting all my bullets. Ran into more animals than I have people. Shit. See, I'll just kind of run up here to the, uh, to the area. Talking about that already, that's what, stupid bear. Messing up my plans. Not really, I just, you take a couple more bullets when you're uh, full health. How's it in Australia? Is it, is it a lot like rust? <laughs> everything is, everything can kill you. I know it gets pretty crazy in uh, Australia. And we'll just kind of like do this, you know what I'm saying? The reason why I'm naming it is because I'm going to probably be putting a bunch of bags over here. Put in the rocks, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That way I always have a weapon nearby, you know what I mean? If somebody kills me now, they they probably get get what's going on, you know what I mean? So you wanna get these bags placed whenever you can. Not a big deal, it's just get that shit off, off your inventory kind of deal. If I, call, if I killed somebody and had a bunch of bags, he's either a noob or like he's up to something, bro. Or like some, like the same thing with a uh, hammer and tool, like a hammer and blueprint. Because you already built the base, bro. Why do you need a, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're building TCs, or you're getting into something devious if you've been on the server for 17 hours. You still have a blueprint and hammer. You're up to something, bro. And we'll just kind of do this here. It's a bunch of bags, but it's okay. They decay anyway, over you know a couple days or a few days or something. Is that raid time? It's uh, I'm getting itchy, bro. I'm getting antsy. I'm getting antsy. It's 
so just put it that way. <laughs> it's not that I want to raid. I need to focus on my defense, but it doesn't hurt to see what I'm up against. And what if I break through one of these things? Get all up in there. First thing you do before you raid, it's quiz time, chat. What's the very first thing that you do if you want to raid somebody? Guess the key code, bro. try to guess like a little pattern. It's petty, bro. I'm so petty. <laughs> I've actually guessed two codes before. I've guessed two codes. I don't got boom. I got like four satchels, bro. <laughs> but I have the capability to actually like really fuck something up, you know what I mean? So I just haven't been focusing on uh, focusing on that right now, so. Maybe start rolling out with these customs, bro. have to spend like 30 rockets to take me out, bro. Like all the way out, you know what I mean? If they hit, if they hit the right base, it's kind of like, man, you know, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm trying to operate on some stealth here and uh, just kind of like get what I can get done. How long is it going to take you to run the dome? And then, oh, well, now you got some time to use the trap. So now you need to get to the mine here with the recycler. Oh, there's a god there. You might have to try to kill it or something like that. You know what I mean? That's going to take you 30 minutes to get to the mine here. Then you're fixing it for every 30 minutes. So, there's a good thing. I mean, the 
drop them in there. And you can kind of chill while you're playing the game. So I like to actually get some action in, but sometimes I like to chill, get on my phone, and think about what I want to do in the game. Think about how I want to fuck with my friends or try to train on the shit like that. We'll just take this back though. Kinda don't have any room. Yes. Thought I saw something. Yeah, that's right, dears. That's right. Get away from my father. Get off my lawn. <laughs> the thing is, with that ramp, it kind of looks like a horse base. Wait, how much would I even need? Probably just like a stack, right? Just bring a stack, bro. Cause I'll probably run out of that. I'll probably die. <laughs> Hell you. Yeah, there's like a bunch of uh, animals over there. That's why I was asking. Like, kind of like rust. <laughs> Everything's trying to kill you. You can even die to a kangaroo, bro. They, they get buff. No buff rolling around. They like fucking flinch at you and shit. Like, you want some? Like, bro, no, bro. Like, chill, man. Fuck, I'm about to extinct your ass. <laughs> like, what the hell? Walk around like grown men with problems. <laughs> you that big, bro? Grow up. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking mature, dude. Not everything's war. Like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know, like, man. Homie got a problem. Fucking. And we'll just get a little bit of cloth for obvious reasons. I got plenty of um, bags over there, but we'll just make a bunch of bandies and try to survive, like not die to the turret uh, uh, right away. So we'll see if I can do it. Hell, I could even save these, uh, which sounds petty. I could save the seeds and plant them over here next to the area because I want to make this area my own as for as long as I can. So you kind of want to dig in you, like, I, like I did with the bags. Uh, I could even spawn in, hit a tree with a rock. You know, I could do that. It takes a long time. I don't want to do that, but I could even bring a little ax over here, put it in a box, something like that, which obviously somebody can find it, but I'm just saying this, you know, one ax and Yeah, I would hope so. Crocodile's crazy, though. I like how he says it. Like, like it's just like, yeah, if that happens, and, and the crocodiles get a bounty on him. Like, it's a thing, bro. <laughs> like, y'all are... Y'all could get eight, man. All right, so we're just kind of going to go around... Oh. oh, 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 building block, but this one side right here. Oh, that's kind of whack. Let's see, let's see anywhere else. 
I want to build right up next to it. For real. I like how it changed from player doesn't have permissions from building block. Buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a python, ain't it? Pythons are the strongest. That's actually pretty smart. So I have to keep going to the same spot. I just need to go to a spot that uh, that I can get shot from, basically. Just kind of keep it going. Oh yeah. I was gonna be cheap and jump, but I swear they changed it where, you, like, sometimes it'll it'll have a delayed response to jump. Like you get stuck to the ground almost. You know what I mean? I bet I bet that's stocked full of ammo, dude. And it's pistol rounds. Is that a TC right there? There it is. I don't think I could build right here. That'd kind of be solid to just jump over at that spot. Honestly, I might have a better chance of swallowing in and trying to guess code every time. But let's grab this wood, and I'll see what I could do over there. Yeah. And that could be a problem. Ever since they changed it to uh, where you could do, do uh, like, pistol bullets, it's very cheap for, to make a bunch of pistol bullets, you know what I mean? So... It's good, but we just, I don't, I lost, I kind of lost confidence in baiting turrets just because they could kill you in like four rounds and I could just make a stack of pistol bullets like it's nothing, you know? So they probably have at least a stack and a half of bullets, but they could have like four stacks, bro. You never know. Let's try this anyways. I knew it. I think that not enough space yet. Oh, it's building blocked right there. Oh. Uh, yeah. Literally, literally that simple. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> okay, 
so what do I need here? Uh, I should have made that a whole ass uh, thing. Oh, look at that. Can't afford the place. All right, that's it. I don't want to die when I jump. I know I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, killed me. <laughs> Look at all the bags. Oh, don't get pressured by nobody, bro. Do your old thing. Don't let anybody pressure you to do something you don't want to do. Because it could end up being bad, you know what I mean? Uh, ah, yeah. Okay, well, I can't do anything. But they really don't want to lose that TC, huh? <laughs> For real, dude. And they barrel, they'll bite you and roll, dude. Fuck that shit. Mm. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Wait, so one and two is the most common, I feel like, two, one. Yeah, we'll do like two, one or something. Pretty good idea. Use the outer TC and build it into a shop. Kind of hard to guess goes, man. Sometimes I'll just be doing it. Toughy. Start saying, start saying codes in chat. What if I get it? And then I just have to bait these turrets, which would take forever for real. Six. It's rare, but not impossible. I've done it twice. Yeah. 
What the fuck just happened? Did you see that? I think I accidentally pressed like something. I don't think anybody uses zero, bro. For real. All right, let's go. Let's go furnace space because I might have some stuff there. Cheap, ain't it? I didn't want to run across. It's about to be night. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> no. No, it is not fluffy. My furnace base is not fluffy, bro. <laughs> it's very compact. <laughs> it's sleek, okay? very approachable yeah i did the uh two one two one or something like that one two one two i didn't do one 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 <laughs> holy shit does people make codes like that holy fuck dude or like one 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 two <laughs> just make some stupid shit just like i should put in a stupid code <laughs> That's legit. That's legit. He said, yo, that's my thing. <laughs> Is it for a one 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 two? Yo, what up? Welcome to chat. We're uh, trying to do some code raids to cheap out on trying <laughs> trying to raid these guys, but Looking like, matter of fact, I need, bro, I need scrap anyways, because I need to, uh, I need HVs, bro. If we're going to be, if there's that many turrets, uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to have to have HVs. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, buck up here. I don't think I'll spend a thousand. Just because it takes so long. Where's my fishing stuff? Oh no! Oh wait. I got four bait. That's one. That's what I'm working with here. Four bait. No way, I got. I got bait. Oh, I'm tripping. And we're gonna make a little bit of scrap because I need. What do I need, chat? I need to blow up all those turrets instead of that is spending like 40 minutes i was gonna spend like 40 minutes so i could just bait in these turrets but i'm starting to, they're killing me in four shots bro i'd have to do it a hundred times for it to even matter when i could just literally probably just grind out the scrap get hvs get the sulfur to blow up all the turrets and then just work on these turrets here and we'll just try to fight these guys, their resources. Because I probably won't be able to raid them. And I won't be able to raid through. And if I start blowing up walls, they're going to be like, who the fuck is blowing up our walls? You know what I mean? They'd be so serious about that. I mean, why wouldn't they? You know what I mean? Hey, yeah. But it, they would be alerted a lot quicker, you know what I mean? So it'd be like, well, they'd be more alert. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It'd be worse than just like blowing up their turrets. Cause then when they hop on, they're gonna be like, yo, there's like three turrets missing. What the fuck? They're gonna be confused. No, I need, I need flash. I need a fucking flashlight, bro. Fucking like bandit camp. Why did they make it so high to jump up? I'm just, I'm just gonna sit next to the fucking thing, trading fertilizer, bro. I can't see it. It is what it is. I know about some 
fishing stuff down here, but it's all good. Yes. I almost want to roll another one up. Of tobacco. Legal tobacco. Legal herbs and spices. No, man, I said, when I said herb, I meant this is oregano. <laughs> no, 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 when I said smoke some herb, I meant some paprika. <laughs> oh, shit, my uh, coffee's done. And then, yeah. I'm tired of waiting, dude, because what if I did get set up and I built power and it took me all day? It'll probably take me all day to get completely set up the way I want to. So I might as well just take what I have right now and uh, kind of strengthen it. You know what I mean? Strengthen each of my bases, make it to where I actually have my main base hard to raise, stuff like that. And then just like kind of defend a little bit, you know, focus a little bit on defense, but then start fucking with these guys offense because you start fucking with their ability to produce bullets for example if they don't have very much bullets or don't have very much gp it'll be a problem for like one guy because that one guy usually it's just like one guy doing all the all the farming one or two guys even if they have farm bots they're going to put pressure on the farm boss to try to get more shit if i'm because they need upkeep when they hop on they're going to be like oh Unless they're loaded, loaded. Because I've been loaded, loaded. And it's not going to make much of a difference, but you attack their GP, bro. Because the sulfur is the hardest to get. Sulfur queries up top. They're not utilizing it, I'm assuming. They're doing, like, train yard and stuff. So if they're doing train yard, they're more PvPers. You know what I mean? So they're not farming. Put two and two together then there's like a couple people that's willing to farm for the base and if I just attack that attack that aspect of the game attack the little farm bot basically then it'll deteriorate the team they're not going to want to uh, grind for the base they're not going to want to go out and hit sulfur all day you see what I mean Like it's just a little strategy that I have Hell, it's one of the only strategies I can use against the zerg what are you gonna do against five dudes? Five plus dudes, you know what I mean? Four dudes even. Four dudes can straight up roll up to your base and take it. You can possibly defend, but it's tough. It is definitely tough. So this is how I fight them. I fight them for their resources. They have a shop that they're getting guns or getting sulfur from for guns. I could I could try to uh, raid that or even break the fucking things. But I want to try to get their sulfur. What if they What if they sold out uh, something or whatever? What if they got like four rows of sulfur? What if that's the only way to make sulfur? You know what I mean? That's another way that I could I could uh, use to attack them. It's just take take over the shop, literally. And I could um, even break out one of their shops because it looks like it's straight out in the open in a doorway. So if I did take it over, I can put a door on the back side for sure. And then um, break out one of their shops. Obviously, take everything out. Break out one of their shops, and then put an actual door right there. And I could utilize it for entrance. You know what I mean? Which they'll fucking eventually hop on and raid the shit. But in the meantime, I could use it straight to walk straight into their compound. Use it as a uh, gate for me. I mean, personal gate. All right. 
dark, so got a little bit of scrap. It's still dark, ain't it? That's one thing I could do at night. Hey, I think we found out a new strat, huh? When it's night and I can't see fucking anything, just go outside and just, <clears throat> just uh, trade in some fertilizer. That's pretty cool. I can sit here and think about my strategy, how I want to fuck with people, how I want to do things. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? There we go. Maybe you can roll one shit. Why not, All right? You only live once until you die. Yeah, so I think this is probably the fairest anyone that plays Rust can be. Let's be honest here. I Sometimes I won't even fuck with certain solos if they're far enough away or something like that. Just because they're solos. But a soloing, challenging teens. And not in a way like, oh, I, I, I got fucking PvP stealers. I'm just going to go out. No, nothing like that. I'm talking about breaking everybody's bag and the whole team, taking all your loot, kicking your ass off the server. I'm talking about solo goes against teams in a vigilante type of way. So I like to raid, don't get me wrong. I'll raid whatever base is in. I don't care if it's solo, duo, trio, quadruple, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care who's around me because I feel I feel safer when there's nobody around me and you are safer no no one somebody that's gonna raid you has to run a bunch of grids all right later random sorry I wasn't watching chat but no, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm probably the most fair in that approach, bro. Because I take it, I take the game, I guess I take the game pretty seriously. I get into it, dude, is why. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, I want there to be fairness. I'm that, I'm to that level of the game. Because now, you know, it used to be like, oh, why is these Zergs building up the outpost? Uh, it's so hard as a solo, you know, I'd bitch about it. You know, I, I don't think any Zerg should build up next to Outpost. This is bullshit. And then I'd walk on. I'd, run, I'd continue with the game or I'd find a server or whatever. But now that I'm a little bit more experienced, and I do realize that I can get, I could, as long as I um, remain stealthy, you know what I mean? I could get a lot of shit back to my base, like Sulfur cook it all up and then and then <laughs> it creates some problems for some for some people like these guard these guys next to me i don't even think they know me i've never even seen them or pvp them i haven't pushed over there i've heard plenty of gunshots but i'm basically hidden on their radar as far as my name goes but they could have seen where I built up at. They could know that there's some people over here or something like that. A couple bases over here. So I honestly have no idea if they know that I'm over here. They could be planning on raiding me, you know what I mean? They could be like, oh, there's some bases over there. We should raid that tomorrow or whatever. And then hopped off. Which is what I'm assuming. Yeah, you just have to assume shit like that, dude. 
Somebody definitely shot out my door. It was a wood door. But still. Was it this fucking guy that built the funky base over here? You know what I mean? Did he just make a bunch of bullets and then shoot out the door? Which he could have, because there was shotgun rounds in there. And he did have shotguns. It could have been it could have been him for real. But it could have also been that team that's by train yard. But I feel like they're almost kind of hidden, dude. And they're in that forest. They even named it the Forest Boys. I should go over there and chop down all those trees. Wouldn't that be like some bullshit? <laughs> they named their shop the Forest Boys. I go over there and chop down the whole fucking forest. <laughs> like a douchebag. I might not be able to rage you, but fuck your force, motherfucker. <laughs> Dude. Inflict pain no matter what. Inflict pain always. Honestly, want to go back and just kind of grab that rocket launcher and BP it. But at the same time, I'm still going to have to go all the way down unless I find the HV. Which HVs are pretty hard to find unless, like, you take rally or something like that. Like, take heli. Sometimes you'll get an HV rocket from there. Shit, where do you even find HV rockets? You know what I mean? These motherfuckers be selling it. They're, they're gonna fuck up if they sell if they're selling HVs, bro. Is that it? Two shops? Dude, sometimes people with shops will get raided. So you gotta keep that in mind. Especially if there's not a whole lot of shops on the, on the map. That's about as much as I want to sit there. See, that was only like 400 fertilizer. Not even that, really. Maybe I should grab that tier one and put it in that furnace base. Just so I could craft a uh, GP and shit. I do need to get a couple kits set up in here as well. Oh, I need fucking HVs, bro. That is so far down. I honestly kind of should have been grinding on it, but I got what I wanted, so I was like, yeah, fuck it.
I honestly need 500 more scrap for LR too. Honestly, need to bring that sulfur over here and just fucking use all this charcoal to take up a lot of space. Wait, how much? You only need one fuse, right? For turning yard. Pretty sure. Then we're gonna do this. Yes, sir. Um, I think I need a little bit more. Uh oh, we're all in the It's okay. <clears throat> Got a little bit of metal in here. I'm a slacker. I'm a slacker, bro. I'm such a fucking slacker, dude. Look at this mess. Look at my... I'm so disappointed in myself. I feel like I'm doing nothing. take a bone knife and the reason is I don't always take the uh, right amount of stems that I need so I just uh, <clears throat> I just kind of bring like a bone knife so I could uh, like if I kill a couple scientists and you know I could just chop them up for some, uh, some good old-fashioned cloth for band-aids Wait, did I even make any? I didn't make any extra rounds, huh? I'm just sitting here saying I needed rounds. Oh, shit. It's not a very high pop, but I feel like it's the weekend, and uh, it doesn't matter really what server I'm going to be on, because I think that uh, it's probably going to get pretty crazy either way, you know what I mean? Everybody's going to be on, and I don't give out the server name. But I'll play a wipe with y'all one time. I promise. Promise. Whoa, bear, bro. Bear right there. Bear right there. Fucking Jesus Christ, man. Pigs and bears everywhere.
<clears throat> oh, dear. I usually try to take this side first. Okay. Shot him and killed him there because now you can crawl. I forgot about that. Yo, what's up? Welcome to the fluffy stream. Bro, I think he had a gun. Had to have a gun, bro. What if he just snuck up be from behind and killed me? I was like, God. That's why I don't look for stuff for too long. Oh, hammer, bro. Come on. Poor dude. He's just hitting barrels. <laughs> I'm like, no. Give me your loot. Give me your lunch money. They still be beaming, bro. What do you, what do you attach, bro? Still alive, dude. Cause Jesus, he's still alive. Like, how was he even shooting? Was he shooting with his elbow? Like, come on, bro. That's why I always go for this side first, dude. That shit is ridiculous, bro. And I bring a couple extra stems just for that. I don't know why it's just. So crazy to try to take this spot. That's only two scientists, bro. It's just they have they have so, they they just fucking crazy, bro. Crazy with that aim. Anyways, just switch in here. Flip that switch. Always want to make sure you do. And then I go. I guess I could have waited to flip the switch, but it's okay. Whoa! I usually go get that box, but holy shit, there's so many holes. You know, bugging out. Fucking ang angry ass scientist, bro. Hey, yeah. I'm just head on over to that second building where the switch is. There's two switches. And then there's the main building. You still gotta go up top and then hit that. I guess there's three switches. Go away.
Matter of fact, was this the server I killed that dude? It was in. Yeah, I think it was, dude. So the dude, one of the dudes might know my name. I just fucking remembered that, dude. That's funny. Hell yeah. Illuminate this shit, huh? Boys. Let's go. Storm in the. They be taking some rounds, too, dude. I thought that they went down quicker than that. All right, no one just go up here. That's why I'll be sitting there, pause, like, stopping, because it's like, they not, it didn't used to take that much to kill them. Dude, right there. All right, let's go. And me personally, I like to see if anybody's approaching or something like that. I like to try to check for campers because <laughs> that makes me paranoid. Killing somebody, camping somebody else so hard that it makes me paranoid. <laughs> I not only gave them PTSD, most likely, I gave myself PTSD from it too. It's just too easy, bro. Hey, uh... Well... Murder! They be packing a punch, too, huh? There's so many places that you could be at train yard. But the higher you go, the better vantage you have. So if you're down below, you're kind of you're really at a disadvantage. So you almost have to go up top. If you're going to PvP, at, uh, if you don't PvP, you Trash, let's go. I'm gonna start saving tech trash. And yeah, they could, there could have been somebody camping me inside. If they're going to be camping, camping inside, it's going to be the best. But I don't count out the fact that somebody could be either approaching or camping on the outside as well. So you're not in the clear until you get out. Now let's run away from the train yard because that whole area is just like kind of open field. And it's not necessarily to run past. And there's probably traffic uh, closer to train yard. 
in general, not necessarily right now. And plus, I know that there's no big base over here on the left, so there shouldn't be anywhere. Nobody coming from the left. Homie, homie fucking probably spent like an hour building the base. Like two hours getting all the shit, building this base. Big ass, weird ass fucking base. <laughs> he gets raided, bro. He's like, I'm never gonna get raided ever. I'm gonna build a huge base. <laughs> <laughs> that is like flame raided through his TC room. Which I could have flame raided through the top. I should have I should have laddered up top, but bro, fucking weirdos, weirdos. Go ahead and bring this back in here. Huh? Trying to get some shit in here, you know what I'm saying? So I can make night vision goggles, bruh. I might, um, I might bring this over there, make some night vision goggles. Just down from this, uh, Hazzy. Here, maybe we throw the Hazzy. Y'all. Naked LR is crazy, bro. BP, huh? This is kind of a slow way of going down, but it's okay. It's like one BP, it's, uh, maybe two. Like, why'd they raise that? Who would spend that much? They raised that shit, dude. It used to be like 75, dude. That is crazy. Whatever. Just more scrap, huh? And I could scrap some of that shit, but. I'll see. I'm just gonna keep it in this base. Take this two check trash and uh probably make some night vision goggles. And they buff the shit out of them scientists too, dude. They're taking all kinds of hits. It does. Hey, fifteen, which is not very much. A bone, a bone helmet is uh, stronger <laughs> defense-wise than a fucking night vision goggles. Let's do, yeah, put this in the jacket, huh? I could do that in the jacket. Which I'm not even messing with the water for real. Maybe I should dress down, huh? I say dress down, but. Hard to see that day, huh? 
All right, and then. So I got. Uh, well, I got three rows of fucking pipes, but I'm trying to make uh, I'm trying to get HVs. So yeah, night vision is dope. I need to get. Uh, well, I don't want to go trade in sulfur again, or trade in fertilizer again. I want to do it right, man. Why is this bag locked? Or is it just a glitch, huh? Yeah, I want to BP that. I want to get all the way down, but it's just expensive. Wait, I got that red card, red key card, right? Um, could run oil. Hey, let's do oil, huh? I think I was getting all my fucking uh, blue key cards from fishes. There's one in here. Okay. Let's go. I don't need one fuse for that little room. It's usually a couple military crates. And then, let's see here. So, yeah, I'll just bring a little bit extra rounds because I'm not trying to have them all done, run out just because, you know what I mean? Seems like a lot, but fuck it. And we're going to switch back to the, uh, to this here. Got some low grade. Like 50 will do, right? That'll be a return trip as well. I don't want to get the diving fence to waste up space, but you know what? Gotta do what you gotta do. by a bear. He's being camped. He's watching us. He's gonna go tell all of his bear homies. I'm paranoid as hell, dude. from the Titanic and you don't find my baby. <laughs> then I crash into the fucking shipwreck. And then I'll be the shipwreck. There it is. Yeah. Everybody in the lights running oil, it's just whether you like the 
risk your kit for the oil. Because usually there's a lot of people, like the bigger teams, that oil. That's still fairly early. And I don't think anybody's really built up on the small oil side. Because small oil and large oil on opposite sides of the map, which I really like. And I think the bitch should always be on the opposite side of the map. So that way you're not going up and taking both orders. It's just kind of unfair. But it is what it is. Rust is unfair, you know what I mean? You're gonna get it, scientists. He's just watching like, uh, did I hear some shots? Oh. And it might need to move a little bit to the left. Or even around back. I feel like it's better around back. <laughs> He's like, damn! <laughs> Imagine I get that headshot right there. Oh, yeah. oh he's done. Oh, as he's walking away. Oh, bruh. It's like, what are you doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> What's going on, man? Uh... <laughs> Why did, why did that miss so bad? I push up because I'm missing too much bullets, huh? That'd be crazy if I could hit that. That would have hit it if that, you know, if it doesn't, it didn't actually hit it. It would have hit it. Wasting too much bullets. Don't shoot from there, huh? That's nice. I'm boarding. I don't think you get any guns from scientists, do you? Like a regular scientist.
Oh, it's a diesel. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize I was like right there. Huh. Interesting. Pump, nice. So, yeah, I guess you can get some guns from. I don't think you can really get a Tommy, maybe. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I still killed him. I guess I could have uh, just bandied up, but I had the extra stems anyway, so might as well use them. I'm probably going to be dumping some stems anyway, so, so good, brother. Might only be one left in that blue room. Might all push. Yes. I'd be dumping that heavy not a lot. And I think that's all the little scientists around here. Drop that wooden PVP wall, huh? It didn't even turn, it was like, fuck it. Coming right up. Oh, run coming right up.
Whoa. He's like, damn it. Like, nah, we're good, bro. So. Is that all? Man, I was gonna try these slugs out, bro. Oh, I hear it. Where's that? See, I didn't even get that jump off. But. Did I miss a scientist? I think that's it. Alright, so uh, hey, I forgot that I had night vision bro.
I mean, scientists kind of suck, bro. Usually you'll get something good out of it. <laughs> this guy. Hi, I'm Fluffy Drop. This is my first day on the server and playing Rust ever. Hi, I'm Fluffy Drop. I'm new to the game and I don't know how to play. Somebody come take this LR from me. people bro I have I actually have a video of my settings if you want to go check it out if you're actually serious about that a few more minutes on crate hopefully it's pretty decent I'll eventually do a, a server where I play with my uh, YouTube homies, so eventually it will, it'll happen. I'm gonna drop this cloth, and maybe even another stack of stems. That's only three open inventory spaces. Here, we'll drop those. Before open inventory spaces. Drop the fuse. Oh yeah, I went all the way down. Mm, I don't think there'll be that much stuff. I could always drop the scrap, which I need scrap, but 50 scrap is 50 scrap, you know what I'm saying? I just dropped 20 scrap worth of uh, fuse. Imagine I saw somebody sneaking up or something. And it's like, bop, 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 bop. That'd be dope. I just kind of watch for boats. Honestly, there's nothing I can really do about a diver coming. But divers usually, usually don't counter oil. Yeah, look at that sunrise. <laughs> Simba. All that the sun touches is yours. It's your kingdom. A wimble whip, a wimble whip, a wimble whip, a wimble whip. 
Watching the sun rise. Yeah. And I'm drunk. I don't want to get hit with the uh, copyright. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Disney comes comes across. You said some words that was in the song that we um uh, get shut down. Million dollar lawsuit. Fluffy drops going down, guys. They got me where it hurts. The pocketbook. It's old. You think it'll be good? I hope it'll be good, man. I kind of want a bolty or something. Not really. I want, like, a C4. I want some bone. And I could, like I said, I could fuck with those guys' as a ability to, to, to get sulfur. Which I could... Go back to draining those turrets. But oh no. This seems like a lot. And it's only four bullets for each life, dude. <laughs> Spawn in, jump up there, be like, pop, 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 done. So I'd have to, for a stack, how much is that? 128 divided by four. It's like 30, I'd have to do it it's like 30 times. No, it used to be fine when it was 5-5 five, five rounds. 5-5 five, five rounds are more expensive before the electricity update. But now people use, like, the pythons because they do 55 damage. And then you could just spam pistol bullets. It's the best. It's the best. I don't think I have python. But they do, yeah, they do 55 damage out of everything. Hell, a fucking crossbow does 60. Ain't that crazy? Bro, can you load a crossbow into a turret, dude? Ain't that crazy? I didn't realize a crossbow is that powerful, bro. I mean, the shotguns are super powerful, but... Dude, my homies had a turret on the inside of the core with a shotgun in it. When they played, I was like, bro, that's actually pretty genius. But I just, I don't know. I have no idea, man. They had a bunch of turrets, I know that. Which I need to BP down the turrets. I also wanted the rocket launcher in HV. Pretty, uh, pretty whack in here, bro. Pretty whack. I'll take this, I guess. I like to go down ways that aren't as obvious. And I don't jump down because they could be waiting at dock. If anybody's counting, which I don't, for real. But you do have to kind of watch. Like, some people, like, jump up on shit. And we just wait, you know what I mean? Like, right there. Which, that's honestly a good counter for that spot. Is to kind of just peek right there. All the way down. But it looks like we're good. Yeah.
Well, if there's a dude that was sitting, on, like, swimming under here by the boat, that'd fucking snake me. That'd be crazy, bro. Get that, brother. Or get that. If anybody's gonna, uh... Yeah. Yeah. I like Jim Carrey, too. I think it's kind of losing the right there, man. Who knows what's going on you know, in his life and, and his life that he you know, lives and all that. But who knows what's going on in that whole world, you know? He could have been doing with some stuff or whatever, so I do kind of think he's, he's funny. He's funny as so, hell, I mean, regardless. He's definitely a comedic genius. My, new, uh, my recent favorite comic is Shaggy Gillis. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's funny. What am I doing? I need to put this armor door up for real. Yeah. That's funny. I didn't even make uh, garage doors. But yet now I got, now I got these. Armor doors. I'm going to put this stuff in here. Plus, that'll clear up some of my stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put these with my, uh, whatchamacallit, grenade launcher, because that's actually one of my defenses. But actually, maybe I should bring the GL over here. Two stacks of pistol bullets. Hell yeah. Gotta pump you, brother. I used a bunch of rounds, but it's okay. Almost a stack of hot. That's good, that's good. That's good. Oh, wait, do I have a uh, thingy, my bobber? What happened to my spray can? Man. It's all right. Uh, we'll go get it. How about that? Yeah, yeah computer station in two different spots, I believe.
check out this furnace where I see what's up. I like how I went straight for that box. Like I keep anything in it. We're gonna have to take this next door. We're gonna have to take this outside. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And then maybe in some of this. I actually kind of want to take this, uh, just maybe even leave this charcoal in here. Now would be the perfect wrong time to get door camp, you know what I mean? Even though I got multiple bases, it really does make it hard to figure out what's going on. Like, you're like, what the hell? Like, there's all these different bases.
Yo, welcome back, bro. You missed it. I would, uh, I did that oil run you wanted. It was decent. I got a uh, metal face mask, armor door, which my fat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got a little bit of GP. See what I mean? I don't have boom, but I got like some GP. I got some sulfur and shit. I could uh, turn into some boom. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I could probably just cook some of this up in here. Satchels. Let me CP that rocket launcher. Look how much damage that did to my fucking LR man. LR man. Poor dude. Got completely destroyed. <laughs> when you hop on, he's probably like, oh, no. all that time for nothing, man. I quit this game. All right, there we go. All right, let's uh, go ahead and skip on over here. Skippy de doo da. Um. Maybe I'll put this in there. Sir. Skippity doo da. Skip the Rooney on over. Oh, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Hopscotched it. I'm going to hopscotch over to my other base. There's smoke coming out of it. It's all on fire. Let's kind of cook this up a little bit quicker. So, I did, I did that. I go try to find that dude who was out and about. I do need to get some boom together. Go right, uh, right into the people's base over there. Just real quick, I might as well try to build on to this base. Cause it's not looking good right now. I might try to grab some stone. Wait, where do I got some stone at? Maybe in here. I don't think I have anything in here. If I have spare stone in here, which I don't want to take, I could just take a uh, jackhammer out real quick. 
I get some stone and metal. So I wanted a garage door right there, which sucks. Maybe I'll have to build like two entrances because I don't necessarily like to open my door and sit there and wait for it to open. Okay, so. Got the metal face mask. I could switch it out, but it's okay. Computer station. Damn. That is, that's a lot of horses, bro. I got, uh, got three horses. And that's done, that's plenty for me. Like, I got too much shit to do. <laughs> I got too much shit to even know what to do with it, bro. It's crazy. 17 hours. I need stone, stone, bro. I don't even have my jack hammer in here. I want to say I have a jackhammer in this other one. Yeah, you'll probably get a lot of fertilizer, but you haven't let let them sit for a day. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, if you stock all their troughs and all that and let it sit, like, you know, after you hop off or whatever, dude, you're going to come in. There's going to be stacks of dung, and it's going to be a lot. Like, I've been collecting this, and it's, I've gotten couple stacks of fertilizer just from you know just from being online but when you hop on it's gonna be like 98 dung right, let's see here jackhammer where is my jackhammer I don't have it in here either yeah hell yeah there you go. Hey, let's go. Military surplus one. Hey, nice, nice, nice. Man, I can put loads on. Huh. I'm going to change these guys too. Hey, there's a black up. Black ops close too. Nice, bro. Nice. So I probably got both jackhammers in one spot. Wait, where do I have a jackhammer in here? That would make sense, wouldn't it? <clears throat> I knew I had some stone in here, bro. I know I, I knew I had some stone somewhere. I should put it that way. Alright. Just gonna go ahead and leave a couple st couple stacks of stone in here. Just for like spare upkeep. That way if I hop on, I don't feel like playing. And I could just uh See what I mean? When they all step like that, it almost sounds like somebody's rolling up on a horse. You know what I mean? It's almost like... Trr, 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 trr. Yo, who's outside? <laughs> you know? Alright, I need some gears to bring over here as well. And some metal, to be honest. But I'm cooking up that sulfur. And I should place a workbench. Or a 
repair bench. I got 10 gears, hell uh, yeah. It's not that much metal, huh? Well, I'll have to make sure I come back and uh, put some metal up in here. I always hate building onto my base because there's always that possibility of somebody rolling up on you. You know what I mean? So I try to do like do it kind of in a way. But if there was, but at least I get the door down, stuff like that. You know. first, you know what I mean? Then that way, I could have windows that I could set up. I just, I'm low on uh, material right now, so. Let's see what this upkeep is like. Oh, yeah, here we go. And we'll just have to go get more metal. We could do that real quick. I actually should uh, destroy that, right? Yeah, because I want to make this a main base, bro. Bro. It's gonna be weird because I pancake the top, but it's fine. I like to kind of just like scope around my area here and there, you know what I mean? Kind of go outside, look around, make sure nobody's camping in a tree or something like that. Yeah. 
Imagine I look up to somebody sitting up there, like, so, I have a shotgun. It's time for you to die. Okay, let's see here, cause, wait, let's see. Ah, square ladder hatch. What do I need for... Hmm. Yeah, I could run train here and then go scrap it all. But, I don't know. It doesn't take that much durability off my gun, but that would give me a reason to repair it if it. I don't think it'll break my gun. Nah, nah. Maybe that's what I'll do. Just go. Oops. Just go to. Uh, go to good old trainer. It would help if I grabbed the blue card. Yeah, let me. And then you don't need a fuse. Yeah, you do. I'm like that sometimes. Oh, I forgot I had a bunch of, uh, GP. Not a bunch, but you know what I'm saying.
That deer looked like a dude. See if I see, uh, find some. Oh shit. I'm gonna see if I found anybody running the road again. That'd be funny. Okay, I messed up. He's like, fuck this, I'm peeking on the stairs. <laughs> See what I mean? There's just like so much vantage point. That has so much vantage point. So sporadic even. From where they sit and stand or whatever. <laughs> oh, Wow, that wasn't that bad for real. I almost saw, I saw something there.
melted. Always gotta check and see if people are running out too. Who broke it? Doesn't fit my outfit right now, but it's okay. Was that somebody? Or was that a fucking scientist? Scientist, bro. Still too bright or what? The only thing I don't like about the night vision goggles is you could hear a constant, like a constant hum. Like it's burning fuel or something, any? It? Like it's a lantern or something. see the animals, huh? I didn't spend too much bullets overall.
bandit camp. El bandito. Where you go? <laughs> Where dreams come to die. <laughs> Chances of fame and fortune through gambling. That's what I could do. I could just start betting all my shit. <laughs> Lose all my scrap, probably. I'm thinking I might have to save these gears. I'm going to be making some garage doors. And I can trade in that red card. Which I have another red card. I have a couple red cards that I probably wouldn't end up using all of it. You know what I mean? And you can still trade them in when they're just above halfway health. So just keep that in mind. So much pipes. That's what she said. And let's be honest, yeah, I'm probably gonna keep this high claw. I just can't get rid of that. I need rows of high claw before I start getting rid of it. Sometimes I do, but bro, I don't want to fall into a, a swampy area. We'll just trade in that red card there, sir. Thank you, sir. And goodbye. Pretty sad you got to turn the night vision goggles on just to not fall in the swamp. And then you can't even jump back up because they have it at the perfect height where you can't jump it. chickens and then they dropped eggs you could have like a little chicken farm that'd be kind of dope I'll be hearing shit sometimes. I swear. I can see the night sky. That's beautiful. These night vision goggles last a while too. So that's good. I need, what do I need? I need a triangle ladder hat. That was plenty. Let's go ahead and research down here. 
And let's talk about how crazy they made that. It's expensive. Let's go ahead and get that one. So now all I need is these th er, these three. Which an insane rocket would be pretty dope to shoot up some turrets too. But I'd probably need like a stack of fucking low grade. Let's make a couple windows while we're here. Honestly, need to build upwards. Because that, just having that triangle ladder hatch is not... It, you, you could bypass the garage door and uh, all that. But if they're going to raid this way, they're going to be in the Huda raking. It's going to be a bunker.
slowly getting it together. Takes so long. Wait, maybe I should have it open sideways, but I don't know. I have it open in with it. Always. I have it open inwards. I guess I can drop this stuff off real quick. So it's almost pointless to change out that the door. Kind of no need, except the other one to move past on my PC. Okay. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Scrap. It is morning. And we need scrap. I almost want to get a blue key card. We want oil again. Or scrap some tiles or something. I could just go trade in some fertilizer for real. Profitable. I want to look for a raid too, but I want to fuck with those guys. I want to fuck with the reserve next door. Cause like they come over here, they're gonna be like, "What the hell?" You know what I mean? They're gonna be like, "Oh hell no! These guys gotta go." You know, cause it's gonna look like it's a bunch of people. This doesn't look like it's a solo. And if they find out it is a solo, they're it's gonna make it easier for them to raid, you know what I mean? They might be scared if this is like a community right here. Cause it looks like a bunch of different methods, you know what I mean? We got the we got the classic horse base that I just uh, freehanded the design. You could hear the horses in it. This is um furnace base and then a bunker base and then whatever the fuck that is that looks like another horse base for real oh yeah let's go ahead and go in here because I need to trade this out and start cooking up some metal I think all my sulfur is probably done cooking. Yeah. I look like a ninja just now. Like off the matrix, bro. And I need some more metal, huh? It's all good. And I could always, uh, once I get done using my scrap for VPs, you know, I won't really need scrap. I could just buy grenades. I almost want to try to roam and try to get somebody with shit on them, you know what I mean? Or even try to go to Dome. I could take the safe route. 
and uh, it is profitable. And you can take the fertilizer, go to go to El Bandito. I don't think I have the PVP walls research. I have that, which all I need is a couple hundred stone. Get a couple hundred stone together. Mm, it's, it's not very high. It's like a 30 or something. 20, 20 to 30. But I haven't even checked. Oh shit. Bro. <laughs> I see the deer running. I'm like, is it running from somebody? And I see the bear. Like, oh shit. Oh, that's bear. If he's in train yard, I don't really want to go through there. I kind of wanted to work my way around. He could be on the other side by now. If he wasn't going through train yard. You know, like I could catch him right now. Out this side. Homie has an LR run. <laughs> the bear was afraid, bro. He's like, uh uh, not today. Let's pick up a little bit of cloth. I get slightly damaged, you know what I mean? I don't get out server name. Sorry. I didn't try to look for this guy. Could raid that solo. There's a high quality side though. 
I'm guessing once I start busting through doors, I'll probably just scream over because I wouldn't finish the raid. He's probably pretty secured in there. either some naked guy or something. Yeah. Whoa. Or somebody just finding barrels or something like that. Which is what I was looking for. Base right here. It's a wood door. I can molly. I can molly that. <clears throat> but if I look behind me and I saw him, he's just like looking at me. He's like farming trees or something. What's up with all these little bases? Missing a fucking foundation. What if it's a shotgun trap? Hmm. Maybe it's something like what I was doing. Almost like I saw a name in that bush. <laughs> what someone was just chilling in the bush. check and see if there's like a lock crate dude because sometimes there'll be a lock crate and it's like oh fuck <clears throat> works is great and everything but it doesn't take much to hold down dome a solo can do it if you do it in the right spot you can at least make it very complicated to take over I always run I always worry about like people approaching as well or even just running by Maps like this the dome is like kind of in the middle of a lot of like middle of the map for real. But usually people don't really pay attention. They're not looking for people just running down and stuff like that. They're like, oh let me play the game and I'll do whatever I want to do on the game. Just be running around like tunnel vision and shit. No 
jacket. I need to see if I have a key too. I think I do. Yeah. Alright, bro. I'll probably be on. I gotta grab something to eat here in a minute, but then after that, I'll be on. Yes, sir. And then. Oh. I do kind of like the skin for the gun, but it's not that great for real. Yeah, it's not that great. I might rather have a uh, tiger stripe. It's something different. You don't want to use the same stuff all the time. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know why I just got so fucking... Look at all them nodes. The bro, look, it's a sea of nodes over here. I knew it would be, huh? Might fall, dude. I feel, I feel weird about running dome right now. I'm not even drunk or nothing. It's just, uh, dude. I'll be drunk trying to run dome, dude. That shit is AIDS, bro. When I'm drinking, playing, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, whoa, and then fucking fall, like, all the time, dude. On the first one, too, not even, like, <laughs> if I get past the first one, it's always, like, the, either the, the pipe or the other jump. Fall, dude. <laughs> and switch out if I need to, but it honestly don't matter that much. Because I'll hit fight, like, uh, I wasn't, like, I wasn't getting it in. I, th I think I only killed, like, two people yesterday. <clears throat> but it, since the crosshairs, man, it makes it super easy to hit fire. And you just, like, aim at it and hit fire, you know, just, just straight up shoot. You don't have to aim or nothing. It's pretty easy. So I don't uh, switch out the hollow and the forex like some people do. They'll carry both. I don't, I'm not gonna do that for sure. Maybe before the crosshairs, but even still, that's kind of a hassle. Someone south the west. Ass training and stuff. So many nodes over there. Oh yeah. Fluffy drop running on the road. And he's got some scrap. What will he do next? Will he must with that Zerg or not? Or get raided before it happens? Who fucking knows? I need to actually build up on my base, but I feel like as soon as I do that, it's kind of over. You know, for that base at least. And it takes a while. Like, I would probably go down there to uh, Dome and pick up all them nodes for real. Cause there's not, there's probably like one dude running around, but I doubt he even has any guns for real. But you never know. Even if he had a time, you might be able to shit on him. Especially from a distance. I could kind of just 
tap fire and run along the hill too, so that way I have the height advantage. Oh, I have the high ground. Always gotta keep that high ground. Well, I always try to, like I said, try to run, like, kind of not at the top of the hill. It's kind of where your head is kind of below the hill, if you can. Unless you need to see. Like, I could see everything over here, but obviously I can't see to the right, so. <clears throat> I might peek over and see, see if anybody's running up the hill. Or anybody that could snipe, shoot in the back. Oh yeah. Fluffy drop shoots people in the back sometimes. What am I gonna do? Wait until they turn around and shoot me? Shoot. Oh thing. You like how I like made uh, made the potions that one time, or whatever the fuck they are, or the ores, or, or teeth, the potions. No, I don't even make them anymore. I could just pick up berries. You could just pick up berries off the ground, dude. Oh, this is rated on the left. Yeah, it's a rated compound. That's been that way though. They must have stocked the TCs. But who knows how long it's been raiding, rated? I mean, it is a good idea to keep an eye on the branches though, because that's what I would do if I started somewhere. I look for uh, rated rated compounds like that that have large furnaces. Maybe even build up a base next to it. Cause you could just bang out that metal and just go hit metal and you know, you don't need very much stone for a starter base. What if I was walking back and I just see like a group just fucking raiding my shit? Bro, there's two pigs? God damn. Give me a break, man. I kind of feel bad for the little homies that I, I raided. See, why do I run like that, dude? That's some bullshit. I'll go ahead and go to scrap, right? Yeah. And scrap some of this shit. I guess I could have depot, but I don't like making multiple chips. And there's no activity in this area. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, I just, might as well just run out of here to band it. Maybe if I grabbed some fertilizer, I could have just BP'd that. But I'm already going down the tech tree. I would have BP'd that. I would have saved up 500 scrap for that rocket launch I already had, but there's no point if I'm going down the tech tree. And something that's kind of expensive like that, you kind of want to keep that in mind too. Like, I'm not going to be able to use it anyway. It's not like I need the BP right away. I'm saving up. You know, scrap for HBs. I have to go down the tech tree to get them where I can find them, but who fucking knows where I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it's there's a big compound right here where I got all I got all my sleeping bags. And uh I was like, you know what? I think my time would be literally be better served to go grind out a little bit of scrap and just get HVs researched instead of just trying to drain all them turrets. 
Who knows by now? Maybe I could have drained the cup. Yeah. Bro. Oh my yo. That was a huge lag though. Oh, very nice. But yeah, that's my plan, bro. It's, uh, it's us versus them. The solos have had enough. We're getting tired of these big groups. Raiding all the little guys. I'm gonna have a little base. I'm gonna fuck with these bigger guys. How about that? You have enough. <laughs> Right, no, our little basics. 